Hi, my name is Lara Wilbanks and I teach at San Marcos High School. And today I'm going to um, do one of two screencasts on how to use PDF Expert. This first one's going to be on how to bring PDF Expert into an iPad and how to export from an iPad. So, and I'm going to pretend that you have an assignment um, that all of your students are going to have iPads and so you want something that's going to be on all of their iPads. Um, I would first suggest that your students have um, Google Drive, or I'm sorry, Google Docs and a Gmail account and that they use Google Drive on the iPad. And I'm actually going to show you that first. Let me mirror my iPad. So here's my iPad and if I go here I can see my Google Drive. Um, which is an app you can get. Um, you can, um, these are all the documents that are on my Google Drive right now. And you can share um, all the different types of Google documents. You can do PDF, you can share um, Google presentations, all of that. And it's a great way to just kind of move information from a computer to um, iPads. So that is my Google Drive. Um, and now I'm going to show you, let me unmirror really fast how um, to make a PDF. So over here I have a document about a American Secretary of State, Henry Morgenthau, during, during World War II. And I'm going to take this document and I'm going to turn it, it's a Word document and I'm working on a Mac, I'm going to turn it into a PDF and it's really similar to do this um, on a Windows computer as well. You just go save as and then one of the options under format is PDF. So I'm going to choose that and we'll save on the desktop. I'm going to click save there so you can see it. And there is my new document, which is excellent. You can do this with um, PowerPoint presentations and it saves the slides each as a different page if you wanted to upload that. Um, you can upload these to EDU. I think that's a great way to get information and students then can take their iPads and go to EDU and download them um, if it's in your resource folder or if it's in um, an assignment that they can look at on their iPads, download it and put it into PDF Expert that way. Um, I'm going to just, again, just to demonstrate different things, I'm going to use my Dropbox because that's, as a teacher, what I use a lot. Um, I have the Dropbox um, application both on my computer and on my iPad. I'm going to take this and drag it over into my Dropbox. And actually, I already have it there, so I'm going to just replace it with a new copy. And there it is right there. And so now it's in Dropbox. I'm going to go ahead and close my Dropbox, and I'm going to go back to the iPad and demonstrate from there. Mirror my iPad. Okay, there's my iPad. So I put the, this document in Dropbox. And again, you can see right here I have both Dropbox and I've got Google Drive, um, both apps. Oops, sorry. Click the home button um, right there in productivity, and I could use either I could email it to myself, I could use edu to upload. Any of those would work. But since I put it in Dropbox to, sh to show you something different, here it is. Open the same document as a PDF in Dropbox, and then when I'm using the Dropbox app on the iPad, usually one of these buttons over here on the um, one of these buttons over here on the right hand side is your open. So here we go. The farthest right one is open in. And I can choose what I want to open it in and I'm going to open this in PDF Expert. There we go. Okay. So here is here it is in PDF Expert. There we go. And um, I'm not going to demonstrate PDF Expert on this screencast. I just want to show you how to bring it into PDF Expert and how to export it out of PDF Expert. So let's say now you had your students work with it and you've had them do some annotating of the text and they did some, they took some notes here and then maybe they also did, um, maybe they also did some typing here. Notes. And now they want to save it and they're done working with the document and they need to get it back to you. Um, what they could do is they could, if they all have um, Gmail, they could save it in Google Drive. They have to make sure that they are logged into Google Drive. So I would first do that. I would go to Google Drive and make sure this is my Google Drive, but I would make sure that they are logged in. 
um, down here is where you can log in and out. I can sign out and in right there. I'm not going to sign myself out, but you could um, make sure that they're all signed in and signed out. And then once they go back to PDF Expert, um, they could save this and open it. And again, right over here, the, wherever the arrow is, that wants to take you somewhere. So that's usually the open in. And here's all my choices. And I can send this by email. That might be the simplest thing to do. Um, is just have them send it to you. Give, them, give everyone your email address. But if you want, you, they could open it. If you want them to keep a copy as well, and then share a copy with you, is they can open it in their Google Drive. And there's a few choices here. You could choose to um, open it as a document with the annotations, and that still keeps it open. So you can um, reopen it later and do more annotating of it um, and more work with the document. Or you can flatten it. And this is what I would suggest if they're turning something into you. It's the final draft. This is due. They're not going to do any more work with it. I would suggest that you choose to save the file format as a flattened document. Another option is just to take, choose the annotation summary, which is just a summary of the annotations. I don't find this very easy because it's just a list of what they wrote down and what they did with the document, but I need to see the document to see what they, you know, where they did the highlighting, where they did the underlining, where did they put their notes. So I, this is something I probably will not use, but I'm going to choose the flattened document right now. Oops, there we go. And it gives me this option of where to open it in. And I'm going to, and I just want to show you this too. Sometimes you have a lot of apps, like I have a lot of apps. It gives me a lot of places where I can look at PDFs. So these little dots over here show me that there's actually more options. So I'm going to go over to, ah, here we go, on my two favorites, Dropbox and Google Drive. So I'm going to go over here and choose Google Drive. And it should open it in Google Drive. Let me try that one more time. Button copy. Oops. Google Drive. There we go. And now we'll open my Google Drive right, right away and ask if I'd like to upload this item. And yes, I'm going to upload the item. And it should be uploading. Let's see if I can maybe look for it. And there's the document right there. This is one that's Henry Morgenthau document. Um, and then they could open the document and they can share it with you. Um, which would be easy to do, to share with me or share with someone else. So that's how you can get documents into the iPad to work with PDF, how students then can take the work they've done with PDF Expert and they can put it back into their Google Drive. And again, you have other options. They can also email it to you, or if they have Dropbox, they can log on to Dropbox. The real big key is to remember to have them log into Google Drive and then especially if it's not their own iPad, to make sure that they log out of Google Drive, which is a very good habit to get your students in, both when you're in the computer lab or working on the iPads. Um, next, I'm going to demonstrate how to actually do some work with Google Drive.